Hey friends, it's me Jess. Um, sorry I haven't been around lately. I've had a lot of adulting that I've been doing, but um, I did pick up these two kits from Amazon. I just wanna show you guys and then just kinda of do a little quick chit chat and then show you what the project I'm working on now. Um, I finished up the project for Grace called Share Bear. Um, if you check out her Instagram, which is True Artist Diamond Painting, True Artist DP, um, you'll be able to see some photos. I posted a couple photos on a story, so that's obviously gone by now. Um, I'll post a couple more just on my feed. So basically, she commissioned me. I shared it in my last video. She commissioned me to um, help her finish one of her diamond paintings that she now has in her shop because it was going to be a street fair. She has her products in an actual brick and mortar store and she just needed to have this um, diamond painting half done. So I did it for her. I used my time to do it for her and she posted it at the street fair and um, I think it went well. I picked up from, uh, from obviously Amazon. Let me get into them and then I will show you what I got and then do a little bit more of a chit chat. So be right back. Got these two diamond paintings, both from Amazon. I will show them to you now. Two separate companies. I will do this one first. And the reason I'm doing this one first is because I want to show you what I got to go with it the other day when I was in Hobby Lobby. So it's a 35 by 45, which looks like it is the, oh, this one's a little fancy, isn't it? Well, not really fancy, but it has like a big how to diamond paint here. Okay. Then we have the drills and the drills have not the DMC numbers, but it has the, um, you know, the, the coordinating numbers. The DMC's numbers are on the, on the schematic here, okay? It is a lion with like cracks of lightning coming through it. I do wanna open these up and then I do wanna show you what I picked up from Hobby Lobby with the diamond dots because I saw this and I was like, I know um, it's not going to send me metallic drills. And I really wanted it to be like really cool. Like the lightning strikes through it. So, <clears throat> let's see, 14 is K. Okay. The drill field is so super clean. The um, backside is nice and soft. It's very flexible. The stick is good. Um, the drill field is very clear. I think you guys can see that. Yep, it's very clear. Super excited about that. Um, so K is this big one here. And it is the brightest. And I will show you. So Diamond Dots has at Hobby Lobby these. I'm going to substitute these. This is the 7006. And I believe it's called like Brights, Bright Gold or something like that. It's very gold. Then this is the one I'm going to be substituting, K, which is 3, 8, 2, 1. And then 15 is 3, 8, 5, 2. So what I might do is I might move the Ks to the 15s because I really want it bright. And, you know, that's going to be really bright. It's pretty. You guys could see. Let's see if I turn. Um, I believe that this was $8, okay? Uh, the drills look good. 
they have a lot of facets in them actually compared to um you can tell there are there are different grades of diamond paintings on Amazon. This one is a pretty good one. So as far as I'm seeing now, I will obviously show you guys when I'm done. So I'm actually in the sixth month. Actually, yeah. So I'm in the beginning of my sixth month of, I'm not going to put that back, of diamond painting. And I do have, I did finish a lot. But I don't have a lot to show for because they've been given away. I have three for my sons. I have two for my parents, one for my brother, one for my boyfriends, and one for my manager at work. So all of those are gone. None of those I have. But I, and then I did the project for Grace. Um, so I don't have a lot done that I'm using for myself. I do have a couple. And I will show you guys some of those. This is the next diamond painting I picked up. I believe the, the lion one was uh, like $8. And I think this one was $9 on Amazon. Stick is okay so far. I mean, it's you can tell the difference of the... You can just tell the difference. This is a 35 by 35. So a little, just a little bit smaller. It's a cactus. Um, with pink flowers, it's a round, regular toolkit. Um, I just thought this was kind of cute. These are the drills. I'm not even going to open them. They're not super duper exciting. Um, that green is pretty. Now, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to substitute that one of the greens or the pink with... Um, um, actually probably not that pink because I really like that. Maybe the darker pink with, um, with an AB or maybe even the center, that orange. I'm not sure yet. I like this one. This one's pretty. Let's see. The stick is good. The drill filled is not outlined, so you can't really, I mean, you know when it's done because all of this back here is color blocking. All of that is color blocking. Um, it's clear. It's a little bit, a little bit hard to read down in here. Not impossible, just a little bit hard to read. But, um, there are 20 colors in this one. And the symbols look pretty good. They're mostly symbols. There's a couple of, like, alphabets, upper and lower case, but there are some symbols. But the sim, like... The symbols on the schematic or the color list are not like clear, uh, but they're clear on the actual one. So that's good. Uh, I don't know. I've told you guys before that when I substitute in ABs, they do not have to be exact match. They just have to look like the color. I'm not in a rush to get to any of these. I saw these and like I said, I've had like one of those like weird past months when I've been really really good as far as not spending anything on diamond painting and like I said I did get commissions sorry I did get commission to do that uh work for Grace so this one I'm almost done with I'm very excited about it's a geisha and she is 45 by 60 I believe it's true to size yeah 45 by 60 and I did a lot of substituting. I added ABs um, just on her. So there's ABs in her um, in her kimono. There's ABs. Um, there's crystals in her kimono. Um, you know, so the you know it's and then the surrounding are um, cherry blossoms, sakura. Uh, plants. It's very pretty. So I'm excited for this one to be finished because this is one of those that I was saying to you guys, like, you know, I'm doing my projects. So I have this one that I'm working on. I'll show you not the other, two, the other one that I'm working on. It's right here. So this one is huge and I don't have a lot of it done. Um, this, I had just started on this one 
when Grace contacted me. This one is very big. You know, you can see it's off the table here. I believe it is a 30, I think it's a 35 by 70. And I'm going to pull this back so you guys can see. Oh, I didn't realize I cut that. Okay, so let's do this as carefully as I can. It's feathers. Okay, let's do it. This is going to go on the top of my stairs. I hope you guys can see that. Oh, yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out nicely. Um, so I... <laughs> I got so, so little bit of this done. Um, I wanted to have this done before my parents came, but I severely doubt it because even though there is a lot of color blocking, so if I just really like kind of like, all right, every night I have to work, after I'm done with the geisha, do this one, I think that's what I'm going to, but I doubt I'm going to finish it. I did a lot of substituting. I went to diamond painting with sparklers. And I picked up, I think I showed you guys this, I picked up in the haul video, a, you know, like, I substituted, like, six or seven colors with ABs, because I really wanted this one to be, like, super sparkly and everything I wanted it to be. Um, so, that's the other one. So, I'm going to finish the Geisha. I'm going to work on this one as much as I can and finish as much as I can and not stress, because this is a hobby, it's not a job. So I'm not going to stress about it. I really enjoy doing that project for Grace. Hopefully you'll see the pictures. Um, and check out her channel. And then she also sent me this one. As a thank you. I can't, I know she has this in her shop right now. I cannot wait to get to this one. This is round um, drills. Soft backed canvas. And it's the same artist that did um, the cozy guitar. This one is called Full Bloom. Cute and exciting. And I might substitute the same um, drills that I just got for Diamond Dots for her necklace, which I think is really cute. So she has her little Bantu knots, her little gold necklace, very cute. She's kind of giving a little eye look over there. Um, this is all color blocking. That background pink color is all one color. It is the 893. There are like four bags of it. So, you know, that whole background is this color which is a very punchy color, literally. So I'm excited about that. The little flowers in the background. I'm really excited to get to this one. This one will be like a super exciting one for me. Anyway, okay guys, so tell me in the comments below how you fix up your diamond paintings or do you only do the, the ones that it comes with? Like, are you guys able to add to them because a lot of people are like I just want it done for me I've seen a lot of um, youtubers say I just want it done for me um, and then a lot of youtubers are like I'm just gonna change it and do exactly what I want all right guys talk to you later bye thanks for watching it's really late so I'm kind of out of it bye